Hi everyone, my name is Didil and welcome to my kitchen. In this episode, we're going to make together lemon pancakes. These go great for spring or summer. And this is an inspired recipe from Sarabets, New York. I've tasted their lemon pancakes a couple years ago. I love them and it's going to be something similar, something soft, very light. So what we're going to do first is that I have some cheese here. In Turkish, this is called lor cheese. You can think of it like curd cheese. It has to be soft and unsalty. So with my wooden spoon here, I'm going to break this apart first so that I can whisk it afterwards. And this type of cheese does give it a great texture and taste as well. So just with my spatula here, I'm breaking it apart. And I'm going to write down all the ingredients in the description box so you can check that out for quantities. And after the cheese looks like this, like crumbled, I'm going to get in the zest of one lemon in here. These do smell very lemony in the end. And in, or in order to get that, we're going to use the zest and the juice. That looks good. And now I'm going to add in the juice. I'm using a sieve so that I don't get anything in there, just the juice. And now I'm going to whisk everything until it's all incorporated together. And goes in the egg. And the milk. Some honey to sweeten this up a little bit, about a teaspoon. You can leave the honey out at this stage and put some more on top after they're all cooked. A little bit of salt. Whisk it again. And now I'm going to add the dry ingredients. So into my flour, I'm adding some baking powder some ginger because it goes amazing with lemon. Getting them in here. You can sift it, but there's really not much need. There may be a little bit uh, lumps. Don't worry about it. You're not going to feel them. It's mostly because of the cheese and our pancake batter is ready. Now let's cook these up. In my pan here, I'm going to add in a little bit of olive oil and once it's heated, I'm going to start cooking the pancakes. Now I'm taking about a ladle full and cooking the pancakes until they're done on the both sides. And once you see like little bubbles swarming up on the surface, it means you can flip it over. Looks amazing. And wait until the next side is cooked as well. So I'm going to cook them all, stack them up, and then we'll give them a taste. And it's ready. Look how gorgeous it looks. After I put them on the plate, I put some, uh, you know, you can put whipped cream. I put some whipped cream and some strawberries and a couple uh, leaves of mint and it looks divine. Now, it's time to give it a taste. If you put something like that on the table at a Sunday brunch, I can assure you everyone's going to be really happy, including yourself. The sweetness to me is perfect. You can really 
feel the texture that the cheese has given. Uh, if you ever go to Sarabets in New York, they do this with ricotta. Uh, on the menu, you can find it as ricotta lemon pancakes. You can substitute ricotta as well as a cheese. And it's just amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more easy and delicious, delicious recipes like this one. Hope to see you next time. Bye.